everybody, Matt O'Ree back here with you once again. Welcome back to Mob on TV. This is episode number four in the Guitar Instruction Series, and today we're talking about Eric Johnson. Okay, the first lick that we're going to look at from Eric Johnson is his take on the half-step bend and how to utilize this. This is a pretty common uh, technique used in country music. Uh, and Eric utilizes it in more of that blues rock fashion. So, in this particular uh, lick, we're going to be utilizing the major pentatonic, the minor pentatonic, and some of the major scale. We're going to be in the key of G, and again, we're in standard tuning. So we're starting on the 5th fret G string, to the 4th fret half step and release bend. Back to the 5th fret G. Now we're into the minor pentatonic, 3rd fret, 6th fret, 5th fret, half step, bend, release, next string, 3rd fret, 6th fret, 5th fret again, half step, bend and release, back to the B string, 6th fret, 3rd, roll your finger to the E, back to our root note, and now we're going to slide on the B string, 6th fret to the 8th fret, back to our root. And then back up 1 fret to the major 7, this is from the major scale. And then back into the root. So we really have 3 root notes at the end. We have G, slide G, bend half step G. So I'll put the lick together so you can hear how it's supposed to sound. Again. Pretty cool. Okay, the second lick that we're going to look at is something that Eric does that's really cool. It's picking out notes of a chord. Doesn't sound too complicated. Uh, in this case, again, we're in the key of G, standard tuning still. And we're using the G major bar chord and off the third fret. So something that Eric likes to do is he likes to pick the notes out of the chord. But the bar chord for guitar players is not the same order of notes as it would be for a piano player. In the bar chord, we have the root note as our first note. Then it's the fifth note of the scale. Then it's back to the octave, our root note. Then we have the major third. And the major third, as we know, controls major versus minor. If we flat that, we're on G minor, but we're on G major. So root note, fifth octave, or root, third. Then back to a fifth and then back to a root. So something that's really cool that Eric does is he plays the root note, the fifth note, and then skips the D string, goes right to the G to our major third. This is a really cool exercise that you can use for string skipping with the pick. So down, down, up. You could also use this exercise for using a downstroke, downstroke, and then hybrid picking with the middle finger on the right hand, which is usually how I do it. So it's down, down, pick. So then Eric takes this through different positions of the neck. So what I did is I, I put together a nice little exercise. This is now segueing into our third riff, my interpretation of it. Going through the major chord progression with the same pattern. So it's going to be a G major. Second chord is an A minor. Third chord is B minor. Fourth chord is C major. Fifth chord, D major. Sixth chord, E minor. Seventh chord is going to be F sharp diminished. And back to the G for the A chord or the first one again. So take the same pattern of root, fifth, third. Now we're on the second chord, which is minor, so it's root, fifth, minor, third. Uh, C 
major. D major. E minor. F sharp diminished. G major. All together. So that's just something that I put together for students that I teach for a fun exercise, also a great exercise for the right hand. You can do down, down, up stroke, or you could do down, down, pick middle finger. The hybrid picking is extremely an important technique for the right hand, and I highly, highly suggest developing it. And then of course, uh, playing this descending too. Oops. That's better. That's all the time we have for today. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Again, thank you to Eric Johnson. I did get a chance to meet him a few times, and he's super, super nice and a humble person. Just a wonderful person to meet. Next week, we're going to be dealing with B.B. King. I'll see you then.